Hey guys, uh, I would have said that it's a very quick unboxing and review of the Royobi Edge Guide Kit for 18 volt DC Ryobi. This is for one of those brushless one of those brushless um, circular saws. So here's what I got. Alright. We have TTI part number, TTI are the manufacturer for Royal B Milwaukee Rigid Edge Guide Kit made in China. Bunch of part numbers. That's how it came. Uh, I bought this from not from Ryobi but the third party reseller. This is the same Ryobi thing. And you see, it's. I have a couple of issues with this one. Uh, first of all, this is the same as the product that Ryobi sells. sells. This is identical. This is not an aftermarket or knockoff thing that's going to be different or anything just an edge guide so uh, frankly speaking I expected it to be a little bit wider I expected it to be 12.5 or 13 millimeters and you see it's 12 the kit itself it's called kit because it comes together with it comes together with this retaining bolt right there none of the Ryobi circular saws come with edge guide and I don't know who came up with the idea not to sell to sell uh, circular saws without an edge guide but let's say let's just say it's a bad idea it's a bad idea because you really need circular saw with uh, with an edge guide most of the time you need to <coughs> you take a sheet of plywood to just have a straight edge I don't like this because it's like too short just bear with me a second it is just too short so what I see here is 3.5 inches right there all right 3.5 inches edge to edge the edge itself is a little bit curved on both sides <coughs> spot welded here but I really don't don't like this it is very flimsy very easy to bend easy to bend just on with my fingers so how this would stick into a service van or something like that it's just beyond me 12 millimeters and I think 12 millimeters is about the size the size that's that fits there but look at that two millimeters this thing is two millimeters wide this is like a sheet metal who does that I mean this has to be at least three millimeters and what let me show you and once installed it's kind of wobbly and I mean not too not too wobbly but it is wobbly I really don't like that I mean this thing costs about 10 bucks it's not not that much but you really need this one to be not to play around like this So if I put this a 
So if I put it like this, well, it's not substantial, of course, but it it just doesn't seem it just doesn't seem you know too strong. It doesn't seem too sturdy. Of course, it slides nicely, but. Take, just take a look, and it's, take a look. I mean, this, if this was made from 3mm, 3mm thing, 3mm thickness, that would be sufficient enough to eliminate that wobble, but look at that it is just too much and I think this is looks so cheap that this should have been this thing should have been included in the original with the original tool now, none of the Ryobis come with edge guides so you have to purchase this one separately this was this itself was about I don't know 10 bucks close to 10 bucks so you're saying that you're selling a tool that needs this this edge guide this inexpensive piece of metal and at the same time you don't have the the business acumen to like included in the package. I mean, it's just it's just aggravating, you know. It is just aggravating not to have this and to go at lens to buy it from third-party vendors or from Ryobi and go search for the tool number from the actual number like it's some kind of obscure tool that nobody nobody even works with. You don't know what these markings are for. So practically you can install it on this end and on the other one as well if you're lefty or righty. But just seeing it wobbling a little bit and being so flexible. I mean I could have made this from I could have made this sturdier in in about 20 minutes. Like I can make this in 20 minutes with scrap metal pieces. Why? Just why? I mean it's just I didn't expect this from Royobi. Otherwise, that's they do very good circular saws. Those are very good, but this just sours the experience. Thanks for watching.